Hey everybody, Patty Ann here. Hey, I just wanted to give you a really quick heads up that in Brilliance is on sale right now. I think it's through May 19th. It's an extra 10% off. So when you go there, it'll be already discounted, but then use my code that you'll see down below and get an extra 10% off. So let's get started. Hey everybody, today we're ready to start block C, the final block of our stitch along. And it'll be done well in time for Memorial Day, 4th of July, uh, Election Day. So we've already done blocks one and two, which I thought I had, oh yeah, I do. Right here, here's block number one and block number two. So we're gonna do block number three. I already have my no-show mesh in my hoop. And I'm really glad because it's not the very next day that I'm working on this, so I don't get confused. All I have to do is pick up the bay. This is block three or block C, and I'm ready to go. So let's go over to the machine, or first let's go up to Umbrilliance and I'll show you what it looks like there. Okay, just as it had shown, um, before when we brought this in this is the five by seven size uh it was too big the way it's placed for this hoop however if i double click on hoop down here it changes it so it is the, the right orientation perfectly just like that so as you'll recall uh, the first thing we're going to do is the placement stitch for the batting so if we run the stitch simulator right here this is the placement stitch for the batting then we're going to cover the line with the batting and then stitch the tack down and then we're going to trim the batting after that we'll stitch the placement line for the top fabric right here okay and then we'll run the tack down stitches for that top fabric. And then we'll trim away the excess fabric. After that, the next few stitches are going to start with the meandering, which I love. Uh, the quilt motif, the decorative stitches. It's going to do the meandering first. And then the blue and the white stars. And then the red. Okay, then it's going to do the placement stitch, here it is, for the bottom background fabric. And then you position your, uh, your um, fabric over that and do the tack down. Then it says remove hoop from your machine, fold over the fabric, pressing the seam well with your fingers, tape down to secure in place, and then run the tack down stitches to secure the border with the right side facing up. And then finally, you're gonna stitch the decorative stitches in this, just as we had done previously. So I'll go ahead and show this at the machine, and we'll be right back. Oh, and by the way, I did t talk to the people at Designs by Juju, and they suggested that rather than having all of my edges be one inch, because remember my mess up? They said, cut it down to one half inch. That works perfectly. And as a matter of fact, they said some people prefer having it cut to one half inch. So let's get started. Okay, I've got everything set up. I've got my uh, design in here. I have my thread threaded. And I'm ready to say end edit and embroidery. And as we know, it's going to stitch the placement stitch for the batting, which I have in my block C bag. No worries to find it. Okay, next up, I'll set the batting in here. And stitch it. If you're following along in the paper sheet, that is step number 23. I'm going to trim the batting as shown, and then I'm going to stitch the placement for the top background fabric.
Okay, this time to trim, I'm going to trim right up along the stitching line on all four sides. And now it's doing the placement for the top fabric. Next is my fabric that has a right side and a wrong side. So I'll make sure that it's right side up and I'll put this right over top like that and stitch that into place. Okay, next it tells us to trim this uh, fabric and we're going to trim it right up close here to this line where the batting is. Hopefully you can see that. But we're not going to trim anywhere else. Just right up here close to the batting. Let me double check. If we look at the picture, you can see it's trimmed right up close to the batting right there. But the rest of these sides are left on. And then we're going to start the quilting motif or the decorative stitches. So at this point now, I will want to change my thread to white. Okay, and I've changed the thread to blue. And now I'm beginning the stars, which are white. Not sure how well they're gonna show up on this white fabric. Oh, shoot. Okay, I'm back and was able to figure out exactly where I was. So now I'm stitching out the red part of stripes. Okay, now I'm ready to put the placement line for the back of the uh, bottom edge fabric. As that's stitching, hopefully you can see this, it's going to say position the fabric strip with the right side facing down and parallel to the placement stitch. Extend the fabric strip approximately 1 8 to 1 quarter inch over the placement line. Run the tack down stitches to secure the fabric as shown. So, according to this, my fabric is batik, so it doesn't have a right and a wrong side. But let's pretend like this is the right side. And it says put the right side facing down and have it overlap this line right here by about a quarter of an inch. Like this. And let's make sure, yep, that looks pretty good. All right. So now it's going to stitch that. That's the tack down. Now, after the tack down stitch, step 30 says to remove hoop from machine and fold over the fabric, pressing the seam well with your fingers. Tape it down to secure it in place and then run another tack down stitch to secure the border with the right side facing up. And then after that, all we have yet to do, oops, let's see if I can get it to focus. All we have yet to do are the decorative stitches. So again, I'll pull this out, go like this. With my finger, finger press this down and I can use a piece of tape to hold this in place so it doesn't flip up on me. Push this back in and stitch that into place. And now I'll change to my white thread for the stars. 
which I think, did I use white before? Or did I use the silver? You, I want to use the same. Let me look. I think, oh no, I think I used a silver. Yeah, so let's go with the silver instead of the white. Okay, it's time to remove it from the hoop now. It's done. Looks really nice. Um, the first thing it says to do is, let me get to this hoop off. There we go. Is to trim away the excess stabilizer first. So we'll go over on the back and do that. And then remember that the directions say trim it with it about an or an inch away from the last stitching. But recall I messed my first one up. And as I said, the folks from Design by Juju, my friends there called or texted, wrote to me and said, don't worry about it. You can just trim each side to one half inch away from the edge. A lot of people we've heard like it better like that anyway. So I'm just gonna put this Flat line of stitching right there on the half inch mark and trim. Okay. There we go. And then I'll bring those other um, blocks up that I trimmed already and re trim those to one half inch. So there's the half inch right there. 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 Okay. Someone had asked where I got this cutting mat. It's a cutting mat. It also has a piece that goes on it as an ironing board. It's quite expensive, though. I think I got it when I worked at the quilt shop. But if you're interested in seeing what it is, I'll have a link for you down below. So that's that. Like I said, it also has an ironing surface that comes with it that you can use and twirl as well. So... All right.